this is test one. Test one, it's okay. All rise. The International Residual Mechanism for Criminal Tribunals is now in session. L'audience du mechanisme international appelé à exercer la fonction residuelle des tribunaux pénaux et ouvert. Please be seated. Will the registry please call the case? Good morning, Your Honor. This is case number MICT 19-121-I in the matter of the prosecutor versus Augustine Girabatoire. Uh, thank you. Good morning. I'm Judge Von Jonsson, the single judge assigned to this case. May I now please have the appearances of the parties, first the prosecution. Good morning, Your Honor. Uh, the prosecution is represented by myself, Tembile Sokhwete, Acting Senior Legal Officer, Mr. Rashid Rashid, Legal Officer, Ms. Stavrola Papadopoulos, Legal Officer, Ms. Bola Akinsete, Legal Officer, and we are assisted by Ms. Janet Stewart, Case Manager. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Prosecutor. And now, duty counsel for Mr. Augustin Ingebatoire.
Bonjour, Monsieur le Président. Good morning, Mr. President. I, I am Counsel Bubu Diabira, lawyer. I'm representing Mr. Augustin Girabatoire. Uh, this is the initial appearance of Mr. Augustin Girabatoire. This hearing will be conducted in accordance with Article 18 of the statute and Rule 64 of the Rules of Procedure and Evidence. Before adjourning the hearing, the parties will, provide it, will be provided with the opportunity to raise any additional relevant issues. I remind the parties that certain information related to this case is confidential and is subject to protective measures. If it is necessary to discuss confidential matters, please request a private session. On 10 October 2019, in my capacity as duty judge, I confirmed an indictment against Mr. Ingabatoire, charging two counts of contempt and one count of incitement to commit con contempt of the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda and the mechanism. Mr. Ingabatoire is not detained on the basis of the indictment. He is presently detained in the United Nations detention facility in view of the review judgment in which the appeals chamber decided that the appeal judgment imposing a sentence of 30 years of imprisonment remains in force in all respects. Before we continue, I would like to inform Mr. Ingabatoire that you have a fundamental right to remain silent throughout these proceedings, and this will not be held against you. In addition, and without prejudice to your fundamental right to conduct your own defense, you also have a fundamental right to be assisted by counsel. Any arrangement for representation by counsel will be made through the registry. Further, Article 19 of the statute guarantees you a number of rights. Uh, please, Mr. Registrar, read out Article 19 in full. Thank you, Your Honor. Article 19, 1. All persons shall be equal before the mechaniz mechanism. 2. In the determination of charges against him or her, the accused shall be entitled to a fair and public hearing subject to Article 20 of the statute. Three, the accused shall be presumed innocent until proven guilty according to the provisions of the present statute. Four, in the determination of any charge against the accused pursuant to the present statute, the accused shall be entitled to the following minimum guarantees in full equality. A, to be informed promptly and in detail in a language which he or she understands of the nature and cause of the charge against him or her. B, to have adequate time and facilities for the preparation of his or her defense and to communicate with counsel of his or her own choosing. C, to be tried without undue delay. D, to be tried in his or her presence and to defend himself or herself in person or through legal assistance of his own choosing, to be informed if he or she does not have legal assistance of this right and to have legal assistance assigned to him or her in any case where the interests of justice so require and without payment by him or her in any such case if he or she does not have sufficient means to pay for it. E, to examine or have examined the witnesses against him or her and to obtain the attendance and examination of witnesses on his or her behalf under the same conditions as witnesses against him or her. F, to have the free assistance of an interpreter if he or she cannot understand or speak the language used in the, me in the me mechanism. G, not to be compelled to testify against himself or herself or to con confess guilt. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Registrar. It follows from the Registrar's decision of 11 October 2019 that Mr. Ingabatoire is presently represented by duty counsel. 
Counsel for Mr. Ingabatuare, can you confirm that your client has been served with a copy of the indictment dated 10 October 2019 in a language that he understands and that he has read and understood it? Mr. President, counsel is not speaking into his microphone, so it's difficult for the interpreters to hear him. Sorry, counsel, you didn't speak into the microphone. Please, you, you may remain seated so you can speak into the microphone. Yes, Mr. President, I said that we confirm that we did receive the indictment and the accused is uh, aware of it and read it in the language of his uh, choosing. Counsel, does your client wish to have the indictment read out or does he waive his right in this regard? Yes, he would like to have the indictment read out to him. Please read out the indictment in full. The prosecutor of the International Residual Mechanism for International Criminal Tribunal, Tribunals, the mechanism, pursuant to his authority stipulated in Articles 1, 4A, 14, 1, and 16, 4 of the Statute of the Mechanism, and Rule 90 of the Rules of Procedure and Evidence of the Mechanism, the Rules, charges Augustin Gerbatoire with contempt and incitement to commit contempt of the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda and the mechanism are set forth below. The accused, Augustin Gerbatoire, was born on 12 January 1957 in Nyamumba Commune, Giseni Prefecture, Rwanda, in July 1990. Augustin Gerbatoire was appointed Minister of Planning, a position he retained as part of the interim Rwanda, Rwandan government in April 1994. He was also a member of the Prefecture Committee of the National Republican Movement for, De for Democracy and Development, MRND, political party in Giseni Prefecture, the National Committee of the MRND, and the Technical Committee of Nyamumba Commune. Augustin Gerbatoire was arrested in Germany on 17 September 2007 and transferred to the Interna International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda, ICTR, on 8 October 2009. The ICTR trial chamber convicted him of genocide, direct and public incitement to commit genocide and rape as a crime against humanity and sentenced him to 35 years imprisonment on 20 December 2012. On 18 December 2014, the Mechanism Appeals Chamber upheld Augustin Gerbatoire's conviction for genocide and direct public incitement to commit genocide and reduced his sentence to 30 years imprisonment. At all times relevant to the indictment, Augustin Gerbatoire was detained at the United Nations Detention Facility, UNDF, in Arusha, Tanzania. On 8 July 2016, Augustin Gerbatoire filed a motion for review of judgment alleging that four prosecution witnesses, ANAE, ANAM, ANAN, and ANAT, collectively recanting witnesses, had recanted their trial testimonies underpinning Augustin Gerbatoire's convictions. On 19 June 2017, the Mechanism Appeals Chamber granted Augustin Gerbatoire's motion for review and ordered a review hearing. ICTR Trial Chamber 2 ordered protective measures for the recanting witnesses and prosecution witness ANAL collectively, protected witnesses, in the Ngira Batwari case on 6 May 2009 and 28 January 2010, requiring inter alia that any information identifying the witnesses or their families be kept confidential and that the witnesses' identities not be shared 
discussed or revealed directly or indirectly to third parties. On 5 August 2016, the Mechanism Appeals Chamber modified the protective measures of the recanting witnesses in the Girabatuari review proceedings to require inter alia that the parties liaise with Witness and Protection Unit, WISP, if they wanted to, contract, to contact the witnesses. As of 24 August 2018, Prosecution Witness ANAL was also the subject of protective measures ordered by the Appeals Chamber in the Ngirabatuari Review Proceedings, which include that no member of the defense shall attempt to make an independent determination of the identity of any protected prosecution witness or to encourage or otherwise aid any person to attempt to determine the identity of any such person. On 22 November 2017, the Appeals Chamber ordered that the review hearing be held from 8 February 2018 until 16 February 2018. On 27 November 2017, the registry disclosed to the parties information revealing that on 7 November 2016 and 9 August 2017, prosecution witness ANAL informed registry officials that she had been approached and offered money to recant her trial testimony and testify in favor of Augustine Girbatoire. On 30 November 2017, Augustine Girbatoire's then defense counsel sought withdrawal from the case on the basis that inter earlier, without his knowledge, Augustine Girbatoire's supporters had repeatedly contacted prosecution witnesses directly in violation of protective measures. On 19 December 2017, following Augustine Girbatoire's then defense counsel's motion to withdraw, the appeals chamber vacated the 22 November 2017 scheduling order. On 27 July 2018, the appeals chamber ordered that the review hearing be held from 24 September 2018 to 28 September 2018. On 24 August 2018, a mechanism single judge confirmed an indictment dated 5 June 2018, charging Maximilian Turinabo, Anselme Nzambonipa, Jean Dudio Ndagijimana, Marie Rose Fatuma, and Dick Prudence Munishuli with contempt of the ICTR and the mechanism and incitement to commit contempt of the ICTR and the mechanism. The charges against them concern the protected witnesses and relate to a concerted effort to secure Augustine Gerbatoire's acquittal at the review stage through interference with the administration of justice. On 3 September 2018, Maximilian Turinabo, Anselm Nzambonipa, Jean Dodio Ndagijimana, Marie Rose Fatuma, and Dick Prudence Munishuli were arrested. They were transferred to the UNDF on 11 September 2018. On 14 September 2018, upon a request by Augustine Gerbatoire for more time to prepare following prosecution disclosure, the Appeals Chamber vacated the 27 July 2018 scheduling order. On 22 July 2019, the Appeals Chamber ordered that the review hearing be held from 16 September 2019 to 27 September 2019. On 27 September 2019, the Appeals Chamber issued a public review judgment finding that Ngerabatoire did not present sufficient evidence capable of belief at the review hearing to prove the existence of the new fact in relation to his genocide convictions. Accordingly, the Appeals Chamber unanimously decided that the appeal judgment remains in force in all respects. Throughout the period between June 2015 and September 2018, on Augustine Gerbatoire's behalf and with his involvement, Maximilian Turinabo, Anselm Nzambonipa, Jean Dudio Ndagijimana, and or Marie Rose Fatuma contacted and influenced the protected witnesses directly and or throughout others known to them, intermediaries, 
The intermediaries included Laurent Manira Guha, who was used to contact ANAE, Valentin Mukamisha, who was used to contact ANAM, Vedast Mbarimo, who was used to contact ANAN, Vincent Tuagirayezu, who was used to contact ANAT, and relatives of ANAL, who were used to contact her. In August 2015, Augustine Gerbatoire also directly contacted ANAE in an effort to induce her to change her testimony. Additionally, Augustine Gerbatoire and Anselm Nzambunipa used Hippolyte Hirwa, Anselm Nzambunipa's son, to facilitate payments to the intermediaries and protected witnesses. By his conduct, described below, Augustine Gerbatoire is individually criminally responsible pursuant to Article 14A of the statute and Rule 90A4 of the rules for committing contempt of the ICTR and the mechanism as alleged in Count 1 through the acts described in paragraphs 20 to 23. Additionally, or alternatively, Augustine Gribatoire is individually criminally responsible pursuant to Article 14A of the statute and Rule 90A4 and 90B of the rules for inciting others to commit contempt of the ICTR and mechanism as alleged in Count 2. Additionally, Augustine Gribatoire is individually criminally responsible pursuant to Article 14A of the statute and Rule 90A2 and all three of the rules for committing contempt of the ICTR and the mechanism by disclosing protected information regarding the protected witnesses and for having prohibited contact with ANAE in knowing violation of a court order as alleged in count three. Contempt. Witness Interference, Count 1. From at least August 2015 through, sep through September 2018, Augustine Gerbatoire carried out the following acts directly and or through Maximilian Turinabo, Anselm Nzabunipa, Jean Dodio Ndagijimana, and or Rose Marie, or Marie Rose Fatuma to influence the protected witnesses to recant their trial testimonies. One, on or about 15 August 2015, while ANAE was in Kampala, Uganda, Augustine Gerbatoire, through, tele through telecommunications from the UNDF, pressured ANAE to recant her testimony. In October and November 2015, Augustine Gerbatoire participated in preparing a letter in which ANAM purportedly recanted her trial testimony and transmitted it to Anselm Nzambunipa with the intention that ANAM be pressured and or induced into signing it, which on Augustine Gerbatoire's behalf, Jean de Dieu and Dagijimana pressured and or induced ANAM to sign. And thereafter, on 16 February 2016, Anselm Zambunipa mailed the signed letter to the mechanism from DHL Kigali. In November 2015, Augustine Gerbatoire prepared a letter in which ANAN purportedly recanted his trial testimony and transmitted it to Anselm Zambunipa with the intention that ANAN be pressured and or induced into signing it, which, on Augustine Gerbatoire's behalf, Anselm Zambunipa pressured and or induced ANAN to sign, and thereafter, on 16 February 2016, Anselm Zambunipa mailed to the mechanism from DHL Kigali. Between 19 and 26 January 2016, Augustine Gerbatoire prepared letters providing the purported consent 
of ANAE and ANAM to meet with the defense and transmitted them to Anselm Zambonipa with the intent that ANAE and ANAM be pressured or, and or induced to sign them. And on Augustine Gerbatoire's behalf, Maximilian Turinabo, Anselm Zambonipa, and or Jean de Dieu Ndagijimana, with or through Laurent Manirahuga, Maniraguha influenced and pressured ANAE and ANAM to sign those letters at Mahoko Market, Gisenyi, on 27 January 2016. And thereafter, on 12 February 2016, Anselm Zambonipa mailed those letters to the mechanism from DHL Kigali. And between September 2016 and 7 November 2017, Augustine Gerbatoire instructed Marie Rose Fatuma to pressure ANAL to change her testimony, which Marie Rose Fatuma then did. From June 2016 through June 2018, Augustine Gerbatoire, through Maximilian Turinabo, Anselm Zambonipa, Jean de Dieu Ndagijimana, and or Marie Rose Fatuma instructed the protected witnesses regarding what information to provide during interviews with Augustine Gerbatoire's then and current defense counsel, during interviews with the prosecution, and or what testimony to give at the review hearing through the following acts. In June 2016, Augustine Gerbatoire prepared information that he intended the recanting witnesses provide during interviews with Augustine Gerbatoire's then defense counsel and sent the information to Anselm Nzambonipa to use in instructing the recanting witnesses, which Anselm Nzambonipa then did. In September 2017, Augustine Gerbatoire prepared information that together with the information he prepared in June 2016, he intended the recounting witnesses provide during interviews with the prosecution and sent the information to Anselm Nzambonipa for onward transmission to Maximilian Turinabo and Jean, Jean Dodio Ndagijimana, which Anselm Nzambonipa then did. And which between 28 July 2017 and the end of September 2017, through telecommunications and or in person meetings in, in Gisenyi, Rwanda, Maximilian Turinabo and Jean de Dieu Ndagijimana used to provide instructions to ANAM and ANAE directly and or through Laurent Maniraguha regarding what to say about the circumstances of the recantations on Augustine Gerbatoire's behalf and which between 28 July 2017 and the end of September 2017 through telecommunications and or in-person meetings in Gisenyi, Rwanda, Maximilian Turinabo and Anselm Zambonipa used to provide instructions to ANAN regarding what to say about the circumstances of the recantations on, on Augustine's Gerbatoire's behalf between September 2016 and 7 November 2016, Augustine Gerbatoire inst instructed Marie Rose Fatuma to provide prepared information to ANAL, which Augustine Gerbatoire intended ANAL to give in answer to questions that she would be asked by Augustine Gerbatoire's then defense counsel and at the review hearing, which Marie Rose Fatuma then did. And between 15 May 2018 and 11 June 2018, Augustine Gerbatoire, acting through Maximilian Turinabo, Anselm Zambonipa, and or Jean Dodio Ndagijimana, directed the recanting witnesses on what to say during the interviews, during their interviews with Augustine Gerbatoire's then defense counsel, scheduled for the 12th and 13th of June 2018. From 29 July 2017 through September 2017, Augustine Gerbatoire through Maximilian Turinabo and Jean Dodion Dagijimana 
took steps to procure false evidence from Laurent Maniraguha, Vincent Twagirayezu, and Bedast Barimano, Barimo and or Valentin Mukamisha, corroborating the alleged recantations of ANAE, ANAM, ANAN, and or ANAT. Based upon the information prepared by Augustin Girabatoire in June 2016 and in September 2017, which he intended to be used as a basis to train Vedast Mbarimo, Valentin Mukamisha, and or Laurent Maniraguha through telecommunications and or in person meetings in Giseni, Rwanda, Maximilian Turinabo and Jean Dodion Dagjimana instructed Vedast Mbarimo, Valentin Mukamisha, and or Laurent Maniraguha. And based upon the information prepared by Augustin Girabatoire in June 2016 and in September 2017, which he intended to be, which he intended be used as a basis to train Vincent Twagirayezu through telecommunications and or in-person meetings in Giseni, Rwanda. Jean Dodio and Dagijimana instructed Vincent Twagirayezu about the evidence they should give. From approximately June 2015 through August 2018, Augustin Gerbatoire offered and paid bribes through Maximilian Turinabo, Anselm Zambunipa, Jean de Dio Ndagijimana, and or Marie Rose Fatuma to the protected witnesses and intermediaries in exchange for their cooperation with Ngiribatari defense and to influence their prospective evidence, including on or about 25 June 2015, Augustin Ngiribatari gave Anselm Zambunipa 2,000 euros, which Anselm Zambunipa used towards bribing the protected witness, witnesses and intermediaries, including in August 2015, Anselm Zambonipa paid a bribe of 350 Rwandese francs to Laurent Maniraguha, and one, on 1 and 29 September 2015, using mobile money, Anselm Zambonipa paid bribes, paid bribes to Vedast Barimo, amounting to 80,600 80, Rwandese francs. On, 20, on 29 September 2015, using mobile money, Anselm Zambonipa paid bribes to ANAN, amounting to 100,000 Rwandese francs. On 26 October 2015, using mobile money, Anselm Zambonipa and Maximilian Turinabo paid a bribe of 49,600 Rwandese francs to Vincent Togirayezu. On or about 29 and 30 October 2015, Augustin Gerbatoire gave Anselm Zambonipa 5,000 euros through Hippolyte Hirwa, Anselm Zambonipa's son, and Anselm Zambonipa used this money towards bribing the protected witnesses and intermediaries, including on 25 January 2016, using mob mobile money, Anselm Zambonipa and Jean Dudio Ndagijimana paid a bribe of 29,750 Rwandese francs to ANAM. On 2 January 2016, using mobile money, Anselm Zambonipa and Maximilian Turinabo paid a bribe of 99,450 Rwandese francs each to ANAE, ANAM, and Vincent Twagirayezu. On or about 15 February 2016, Augustin Girabatoire gave Anselm Zambonipa 2,000 euros through Hippolyte Irwa, and Anselm Zambonipa used this money towards bribing the protected witnesses and intermediaries, including on 22 January, on 22 February 2016, Anselm Zambonipa paid a bribe of 1 million Rwandese francs to ANAN. Between or about 26 February and 16 March 2016, Augustin Gerbatoire gave Anselm Zambonipa a total 
amount of 6,000 euros through Hippolyte Hirua. And Anselm Zambonipa used this money towards bribing the protected witnesses and intermediaries, including on 5 March 2016, Anselm Zambonipa paid a bribe of 1 million rundis francs to ANAN. Between 20 and 24 August 2016, Anselm Zambonipa and or Jean de Dieu Ndagijimana paid bribes of approximately 200,000 rundis francs to ANAN, 300,000 francs to Laurent Maniraguha, 1 million rundis francs to ANAE, and 500,000 rundis francs to ANAM. Between September and November 2016 in Giseni, Rwanda, including at Stella Marie's church, at ANAL's house, and or at the house of Francois Nirabunori, a relative of Augustine Ngirabatoire, Marie Rose Fatuma offered ANAL money, including a payment of 3,000 US dollars and or a house in exchange for ANAL recounting her Ngirabatoire trial testimony. Between 22 and 25 May 2017, using mobile money, Anselm Zambonipa paid bribes to ANAN, amounting to 110,000 rundis francs. On 1 August 2017, Maximilian Turinabo and Anselm Zambonipa paid bribes to Laurent Maniraguha and ANAE using mobile money in exchange for their cooperation with Ngirabatoire defense and to influence their prospective evidence. On or about 5 and 6 December 2017, Augustin Ngirabatoire, using digital communications from the UNDF, instructed Maximilian Turinabo through Anselm Zambonipa to pay 500,000 rundis francs in bribes to Laurent Maniraguha and ANAE, and Maximilian Turinabo paid 400,000 rundis francs to Laurent Maniraguha and ANAE. Between 12 and 21 December 2017, Augustin Gerbatoire, using digital communications from the UNDF, coordinated with Anselm Zambonipa the transfer of money into the bank account of Hippolyte Hirwa with the intention of providing that money to Anselm Zambonipa for the purposes of paying the protected witnesses, including on 28 December 2017, Anselm Zambonipa paid a bribe of 100, 102,000 rundis francs to Anan ANAN using mobile money. On 8 and 9 February 2018, Augustin Gerbatoire, using digital communications from the UNDF, instructed Jean Dodio Ndagijimana through Anselm Nzambunipa to offer a bribe to ANAM. Between 28 and 30 May 2018, Augustin Gerbatoire, using digital communications from the UNDF, instructed Jean Dodio Ndagijimana through Anselm Nzambunipa to offer bribes to Laurent Maniraguha and or NAAE, NAE, which Jean de Dieu and Dagjimana did. And between 27 and 31 August 2018, Augustin Gerbatoire, using digital communications from the UNDF, instructed Anselm Zambonipa to offer to pay bribes to NAE, ANAM, and ANAN. Augustin Ngirabatoire is individually criminally responsible for knowingly and willfully committing contempt directly and or through Maximilian Turinabo, Anselm Zambonipa, Jean de Dieu Ndagijimana, and or Marie Rose Fatuma, acting on Augustin Ngirabatoire's behalf as alleged in paragraphs 20 to 23. Incitement to commit contempt Witness interference, count two. In addition, or in the alternative, to his commission of the crimes alleged in count one, Augustin Gerbatoire is individually criminally responsible, 
pursuant to Article 14A of the Statute and Rule 90A4 and 90B of the Rules for knowingly and willfully inciting Maximilian Turinabo, Anselm Zambonipa, Jean Dodio Ndagijimana, and or Marie Rose Fatuma to commit contempt of the ICTR and the mechanism as alleged in paragraphs 20 to 23. Contempt, knowing violation of and failure to comply with court orders, count three. Augustine Gerbatoire is also individually criminally responsible pursuant to Article 14A of the statute and Rule 90A2 and all three of the rules for committing contempt. On or about 15 August 2015, Augustine Gerbatoire, in knowing violation of the protective measures ordered by the trial chamber on 6 May 2009, had prohibited contact with ANAE using digital communications from the UNDF as alleged in paragraph 20I. From at least November 2017 until August 2018, Augustine Gerbatoire, in knowing violation of court orders and the protective measures ordered by the trial and appeals chambers on 6 May 2009, 5 August 2016, and 24 August 2018, disclosed confidential witness information and contents of confidential filings using digital communication from the UNDF to Anselm Zambonipa, who forwarded this information to Maximilian Turinabo and or Jean Dodio Dagijimana at the behest of Augustine Girabatoire. On 27 November 2017, Augustine Gerbatoire shared, discussed, and or revealed the confidential contents of the registrar's submissions dated 13 December 2016 and 11 August 2017 regarding ANAL to Anselm Nzambunipa, who forwarded the information to Maximilian Turinabo in violation of the protective measures ordered on 6 May 2009. On 27 June 2018, 30 July 2018, and 2 August 2018, Augustine Girabatoire shared, discussed, and or revealed confidential information identifying ANAL and her sister, as well as the parents of ANAE, to Anselm Zambonipa, who forwarded some of this information to Maximilian Turinabo in violation of the protective measures ordered on 6 May 2009. page seven, six, see also two, and five August 2016, page four, six, which required, which required that the parties keep confidential any information that might identify or assist in identifying the witnesses and their families. On 14 August 2018, Augustine Gerbatoire revealed a day after the prosecution was confidentially ordered to reduce its list of witnesses, contents of that confidential order to Anselm Zambonipa, who forwarded this information to Maximilian Turinabo and Jean de Dieu Ndagjimana. On 27 August 2018, before receiving the prosecution's unredacted list of its witnesses, Augustin Gerbatoire attempted to make an independent determination of a protected prosecution witness and aided Anselm Zambonipa in determining this witness's identity in violation of the protective measures ordered on 24 August 2018. And on 30 and 31 August 2018, Augustine Gerbatoire revealed, after the prosecution filed the unredacted list of its witnesses, the identity of the prosecution witness listed to testify in the review hearing to Anselm Zamunipa who forwarded this information to Maximilian Turinabo and Ojon Dodio Dagijimana in violation of the protective measures ordered on 6 May 2009 and, August, and 24 August 2018, which require that the defense keep confidential any identifying information of scheduled 
and, and prospective prosecution witnesses. Charges. By his conduct set out above, Augustin Gerbatoire is responsible for the following crimes. Count one, contempt of the ICTR and the mechanism. Augustin Gerbatoire is criminally responsible for committing contempt as alleged in paragraphs 20 to 23 by interfering with protected witnesses ANAE, ANAL, ANAM, ANAN, and or ANAT, and Laurent Maniraguha, Valentin Mukamisha, Vedast Mbarimo, and Vincent Togirayezu. Punishable under Article 14A of the Statute and Rule 90A4 of the Rules. Count two, incitement to commit contempt of the ICTR and the mechanism. Additionally, or alternatively, Augustin Gerbatoire is criminally responsible for incitement to commit contempt as alleged in paragraphs 20 to 23 for directly inciting ANAE to recant her testimony and inciting others, namely Maximilian Turinabo, Anselm Zambonipa, Jean Dodieu Ndagjimana, and O. Marie Rose Fatuma, to interfere with Laurent Maniraguha, Valentin Mukamisha, Vedast Mbarimo, Vincent Togirayezu, ANAE, ANAL, ANAM, ANAN, and or ANAT. Punishable under Article 14A of the Statute and Rule 90A4 and B of the Rules. Count three, contempt of the ICTR and the mechanism. Augustin Girabatoire is criminally responsible for contempt as alleged in paragraphs 27 to 28 for knowingly disclosing confidential information and for having prohibited contact with ANAE in knowing violation of a court order punishable under Article 14A of the Statute and Rule 90A2 and all three of the rules. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Registrar. And I would now like to ask Mr. Ingabatoire if you have had the opportunity to discuss the charges in the indictment with your counsel, and if you are prepared to enter a plea at this time. Thank you, Mr. President. Yes, I have discussed the indictment with my uh, duty counsel, and uh, I plead not guilty to all the charges. Thank you, Mr. Ingabatoire. Thank you. Before I move to any issues that the parties may wish to raise, Article 1.4 of the statute requires that I consider the transfer of this case to authorities of a state in accordance with Article 6 of the statute. Having considered this matter and without prejudice to any motion that may be filed by a party, I conclude that referral of this case to a national jurisdiction is not in the interest of justice and expediency. And I order that the mechanism shall retain jurisdiction over it. A date will be set for the commencement of the trial in accordance with Rule 64B1, and trial preparation will take place in accordance with Rules 69 and 70. At this point, I would like to ask the parties whether they have any issues that they would like to raise. I would also like to inquire from the prosecution whether it will be seeking joinder of this case with the Turinabo et al. case. <clears throat> Again, I remind the parties to give prior notice should any submissions require the disclosure of confidential information so that appropriate measures may be taken. Yes, Madam Seguez. As, as a court pleases, Your Honor, yes, the prosecution considers filing a motion for joinder of this case with the Turinabo et al. And in that respect, the prosecution expects to file that motion before the end of this week. 
Besides, the prosecution has no other issues to raise in this hearing. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Prosecutor and Counsel for the Defense. Any issues you want to raise? No, Monsieur, no, Monsieur le Président, no, no. no, Your Honor, we have no issues to raise at this stage. Uh, very well. This concludes today's hearing. I thank the parties for your attendance and adjourn these proceedings. <laughs>